Yeah, I know. I gotta balance it. Good morning. Everybody, please come to the gym for the Cubbies game. We'll be starting at 9 How about you? I'm good. I'm still here. Hang in there. That's what I like to hear.
Maryland. So that's AJ, Caden. Okay, thank you. I need a pen also. I need to write all this. Pen? Yes. Thank you. I don't know why, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia. Power of the end. Okay. That's Olivia, right? At the at, at, like Kara, and then Olivia's next to her. Okay. I think we're good here. All right. Go for it. Okay, Gina Sledi, I'll look at that up.
Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the annual sportsmanship tournament. This is the first time we're doing this since 2019. It's great to see everybody. It's great to be back. Thank you. We do have a lot going on today. This is our first, uh, the first game of the day with the uh, with the elementary cubbies. Um, we have the JV coming up. We have the alumni. We have newly created alumni team uh, of former students uh, that have kind of come, come back to play. And we have the varsity. Uh, as you see in the cafeteria, the cafeteria is open for breakfast and lunch. And we have all sorts of swag. Right? Every club that we have here at you know, the Scotty Student Council, Senior Class, Basketball, we have a newly created cheerleading squad. Uh, they'll be selling um, some t-shirts. And we have a bake sale. Um, so please visit all our sales. We also have uh, one of our students, Mary Ogbo. She crochets. I hope I'm saying that right, crochet. She crochets, <laughs> crochets and she is selling some of her uh, things that she's uh, created, hats and water bottles. So please visit her. Um, to start off, I'd like to invite a couple of friends of ours. You know, it's, uh, the Spartan School is uh, like no other. Um, we are in a community, but we are a regional school. So sometimes, especially when it, it comes to budgets and things like that, we need some political help uh, up in Albany and locally. And we have some friends with us today that I'd like to introduce to you uh, that are actually in the play. Uh, we have Jen DeSena, who is the town supervisor of North Hempstead. And we have Gina Saliti, who is our local assemblywoman. Right. And we started school in six, right in the middle of their districts. I'd like them to come up. All right, good morning, everyone. Gina Saliti, New York State Assembly person. So I partook in the swag this morning. So did Jen. I got a headband for Mary, and I got myself a new a new jacket. Um, so I have just come to learn that the Scarlet School, I'm new to this position, and from the moment I had my first tour, I felt like I was home. The students welcomed me. We um, became friends, and you know the New York State Assembly, the New York State Legislature. Um, does a lot of funding for the Sardi, and I can't imagine money being spent any better. And I can't wait to play some basketball. I know these kids are going to run circles around me. Um, but thank you to the parents, thank you to the students for including us. This is such a special morning. Thank you, Gina. I'm Jen DeSena. I'm the new town of North Hempstead Supervisor. You are in our community. We are so proud of the work you do here at the Sardi Center. Your staff, incredible. I've been here a few times. Um, and your enthusiasm, your support for the kids, I mean, the medical care you have here, it's, it's unbelievable. So we're very proud of you, always looking to help see what you need here. And, uh, you know, the parade that you had for the veterans was so nice. I know the kids loved it, and the veterans loved it. So we're here to play. We're, we're happy. We're, we'll do the best we can. Um, and we're so glad. Thank you, Joe. Apologize to my teammates for, <laughs> and uh, let's let the games begin. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Um, for the Cubby game, I will be officiating the Cubby game, and I have a special guest referee, Michael Rayner. Right. He plays on our JV team and is also a member of the uh, newly formed Killian Squad. So Mike and I will be playing referee for this game. We ready, guys? All right, let's play some basketball. One real quick thing. I have Alex Garrett on the microphone. Um, he is a former student of ours, 
and he is in the world of sports broadcast. So it's an honor to have him with us today. I want to first say thank you, Joe Salaga. Give up a round of applause for Joe for putting all this together once again, three years later. This is great. All right, on the floor for our Cubbies tonight, give it up for Olivia, AJ, Rumbini, Kara, and Kaden. And our distinguished guests are leading the squad on the family and friends side. Thanks for all of you for coming out today to support, and uh, let's play ball, shall we? Aj, okay. Thank you. Oh, Mike, you been in school? Or? As Joe mentioned, there are a bunch of things behind the bleachers throughout the games today. We have sweaters, sweatshirts, we have other new gear that is unveiled by the cheerleading squad. We have a bake sale going on as well, so check it all out uh, behind the bleachers throughout the course of today. For those of you watching online, thanks for tuning in on the YouTube channel for the Viscardi Center. And uh, it's, again, it, it is very special to come back. And uh, it's been in a quite a year for the Viscardi Center, by the way. I'll get to that. How Biscardi made an impact in 2022, and how you guys, as well, out there watching, listening, and even the alumni world, all of you made an impact as well for all of us here at the Biscardi Center. And again, a shout out to all the dedicated parents who have brought their kid, the, their cubbies out to practice week in and week out to make today possible. Give it up for the parents as well. Come on now. This, this whole day is a culmination of weeks and weeks and weeks of practice and, and organization and setup. And of course, how did you guys like the pep rally yesterday? I know you had a huge day yesterday as well, huh? If it goes out of bounds, you could stop the clock and then and just bring it, flip it back and forth and then start it again when it's back. Okay. And I don't get it. How are you? Good to see you again. So once it goes, once it goes up and then you can start the game. Okay. Blue. Scardy is going that way. White. Family and friends. Go and we are underway here. <laughs> Supervisor Vecino with the basketball, they're nice pass. Awesome defense, but it's two for family and friends. And now it's the Cubbies' first possession of the game. Let's hear it for the Cubbies' first possession of the game. Let's go now. That is Olivia with the basketball. Come on, as she's working her way up the court here. Great teamwork by Lumbini, getting her, allowing her some space there in the paint. As you may know, the Henry Biscardi School does uh, have a well, it's still pre-K through 12 program where kids with people, uh, kids with disabilities get special care, get occupational, get speech, 
get physical therapy, and have some recreational time as well, and a great education here as a 4201 school uh, in Albertson, Long Island. This school is making an impact, and you can see it today. When these kids have a smile on their face, you can see that impact being made on their lives right this very minute as they're on the court here at the Viscardi Center. There you go. And it'll be the Cubbies with the basketball now. And again, thank you to Assemblywoman Saletti and its town supervisor, Jen Messina, for coming out and supporting this school, this center. As Kara has it now for the Cubbies. Got the room. It's good! Kara with two. That was great teamwork there, allowing her to space there in the, in the paint. So we're tied up at two, 7-16 to go in this first quarter. A big day today here at the Viscardi Center. HVS basketball on display. Now, here was a cool thing about this, this program. We actually at Sports Night did this on the stage, if you believe it. They actually recorded it. We were on the stage for about nine minutes. You were able to watch it uh, here at Sports Night on the stage. Yes, so it was uh, quite a work to get that done. And uh, to see it here on the floor once again is, is special. As I mentioned, we just completed our uh, Spirit Week here at Viscardi as well, ending with a huge pep rally yesterday. So it's been a busy week. And... Uh, And again, shout out to the staff for also making this happen today, led by Joe Salonica. And there we go. Now Cubbies up the basketball again. Here we go. It's Lumbini now with it. Love the crowd noise here. Lumbini has it. Sort of a slam dunk there for Lumbini. Yeah. 5.45 to go. Supervisor Desina has it. Great pass there, Assemblywoman Filet. That was great. All right, teamwork, right? So here we go, 5.18 to go here in the first quarter. I love that the Cubbies are ready on defense. Look at that. They're, they're prepared, man. They came into this, fired up, and a nice rejection there for Lambini. Give her a shout out there for that. Five minutes to go here in the first. All right, it's Kanan with it. But first. Now let Kanan have it. There he goes. Here comes Kanan. With that smile. Look at that. All the way to the hoop. It's good. Give it up for Kanan. Six to two. Oh, 425 left, I believe. Family and friends will make substitutions here. Yeah, only because like they're ready to go, they should just be able to push themselves in. Okay. If it does take one, yeah. Now I got, you know, the Cubbies here, during the course of their day, they most likely will have pool, right? You get to go in the pool and, and get swim lessons and whatnot. We're going to have a redesigned school pool to improve accessibility and mobility for the 170 HBS students. That is so cool. I mean, that pool has been there forever, and, and to see it redesigned now is going to be uh, very special. All right, defense hard, defense. 
So those watching, your impact is leading to things like that, projects like that, where we get to give kids that accessibility here at the Viscardi Center. Uh, and yes, pool time is very vital um, growing up, right? So that it's very cool to have that adaptability here as well. All right, we're at 3.40 to go, six to two. Cubbies lead it. Look at this defense uh, for the Cubbies. I've got a member of the JV squad getting ready also. Benjamin, what's going on, dude? I, I know you play multiple sports as well, so how, how excited are you here, here to be here today? I'm very excited to be here. I know you're on the JV squad. How are you guys looking for today also? Um, we're looking to have fun. Meanwhile, Ajay has it. There you go. Maintains control of the basketball. Give it up for Ajay, there you go. All the way to the hoop. But it looks like he'll get another shot. Here we go. Now they gotta get back on transition with the main 45. The Cubbies program, by the way, is open to great defense there. It's open to kids from uh, kindergarten to fifth grade, and then JB is six to eight, and then varsity is ninth to twelfth. So a really in-depth program at every level for the kids here at the Viscardi School. A big cheer now for Olivia. She's going to the hoop with it. Cubbies lead it. But again, it is special to have our special guests here, friends and family of the Scardi to participate today. Give it up for them as well. They're playing a great game also. And our special guest, Assemblywoman Gina Saletti. Give it up for her as she's making time out today to come to Viscardi. And North Hempstead Town Supervisor Jen Decina. Very cool to have them on hand as well. <laughs> Four seconds left on the clock. Can he get a shot off here? <laughs> off the backboard. No good. Taking a mini break here, uh, eight to two after one quarter of play.
good? I'm good. I got all my stuff, yes. <laughs> I just want to, I want to take a time out to say that this team is supported by the physical, the occupational, and the speech, as well as auditory therapists of the Viscari School. Can we give them a round of applause for all our OT, PT, speech, and uh, auditory therapists? I mean, come on, they do it every day. So much so, in 2022, they provided 11,000 hours, over 11,000 hours of skilled nursing, physical, occupational speech, and auditory therapy. 11,000 hours to help out these kids. Come on now, that's, that's a great uh, effort and, and you know, dedication in 2022 here at the Viscardi School. But that really shouldn't shock anybody because everybody here is so dedicated to the kids and that's what matters the most and that's why these kids are able to have fun today here at the Viscardi School at the annual sports tournament, which really was on hiatus for a couple of years here. Last time out here was 2019, so a huge effort to get this up and running once again. It, it, are you guys having fun today or what? Come on now. Casino night. That's right, casino night, 6 to 9 p.m. We'll have a variety of gaming tables, playing chips, uh, silent auction, raffles, dinner, dessert, uh, networking opportunities, and and for the alumni watching, you can go for free, and uh, along with a guest, just contact Kate Wegwinkowski, uh, our alumni leader here. Let me get you that email real quick on the stream if you're watching. And uh, yeah, she is definitely the person to contact. More information to contact also Linda Tibbles, ltibbles at viscardicenter.org or call us up 516-465-1595. All right, we're back here. Give it up for Olivia. She's starting the second quarter here. Come on, Olivia. And for alumni entering casino night, email K Wegelikowski, that's K W E G L I K O W S K I, at viscardicenter.org, versus RSVP by January 31st to K Wegelikowski. If you're alumni watching this today, way 45 left in the second quarter, 8 to 2 Cubbies lead. Great defense there by Liv to stay in front of the net there. As Cubbies now have possession with 25 left. Yeah. 
right, Lumbini has it with 8.05 to go. Center, and we cannot go without mentioning them today as well. <laughs> All right, 10 more. Family and friends down by six with 6.35 to go. I also got to say, you know, he rocked the house here here this past May. Shout out to the Biscardi Center and John McEnroe for coming out and, and rocking this place out for sports night. I mean, this year, after two years dealing with the pandemic and the COVID restrictions, Biscardi's come back in full force as Cara has it now. Cara has it now with six minutes to go in the second quarter. Here we go. So, and I'm also talking for the YouTube channel that might be watching right now. And if you did have a part in any of those events this year, thank you. Thank you for supporting, for showing up, for supporting the Viscardi Center um, this year. Cheers for Kaden now, come on, as we cross the timeline. Four to go in the second. All the way to the hoop. It's good! Kaden! Two straight baskets for him, by the way, 14-4.
Okay, thanks so much. Um, uh, oh, no. Did you have a question? Yeah. All right, I'm here with Assembly Women's Scotty. First of all, thanks for supporting the Scotty Center. And I believe you just said you're new, right? So, so. Yeah, this is my first. So, yeah, this is my first term, just finishing it up. And uh, so it's been, it's been a whirlwind of the first year. And, you know, since COVID, I haven't been able to come to this basketball game, so this is my very first time. I know. Super well, excited. We haven't done this in three years, but I know that Biscardi has been active this year. So what does it mean to the community? Because you guys are like how big of a part we are. So talk about that for a Yes. Time. So a couple things. One, I'd just like to say, <clears throat> uh, um, Dr. Rosa, another uh, faculty at the Biscardi Center, um, came up to Albany, and we declared... Um, we declared uh, Henry Viscardi's birthday officially Henry, Henry Viscardi Day in the state of New York, and we did a resolution on the floor of the assembly, and we had a uh, representative of the Henry Viscardi School there. Um, I never realized how special this place was until I actually came here and saw all the services, how happy the students were, and actually speaking to the students themselves and saying that when they were at school, regular school, um, they never felt like they really fit in. And the second that they walked in here, just how I felt, um, they felt welcome and at home and happy. And that was the uh, thing that I got, was just the children were just happy. What, as an assembly woman, what is your plan to continue to support Biscardi as well? So one of the things that we do in the New York State Assembly is we, um, we uh, fund uh, $100,000 to the Henry Viscardi School. We do it every year, and my job is to make sure that that funding continues to come to the school. Well, thank you so much, everyone, and enjoy the rest of the day. You're here all day, I hope, right? So, there you go. Well, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. All right, it's 16 6 here in the second with one team to go. All right, under a minute ago, let's hear it for the Cubbies. They are up 10, 16, 6 with the basketball. As Olivia has you can hear the crowd roaring for her here. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Well, we're at the end of the half now. With the Cubs up eighteen to six.
Hi, everybody. Coach Joe. Um, for those of us that are here uh, for the Cubbies game, uh, I'd just like to say welcome again. Uh, I know that, you know, the last couple of years, you know, we've had some troubles getting on the court, but we are officially on the court. I, I love that you guys are here. I hope that you guys enjoy the game. Uh, the Cubbies itself, are, you know, the kids are in grades one through four, and this is just kind of basic basketball, all right? This is, you know, a little bit of offense, a little bit of defense, a lot of teamwork, a lot of sportsmanship, um, and just to know, learn the game as it is, and hopefully as they grow older and they, you know, move on in grades, we go from elementary coverage to JV to the varsity, and now, Luckily, we have an alumni team. So our kids have been started to play this game forever. It's a fantastic thing. And again, thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoy it. to get you back on the main screen. It's your time. All right, because we're just leaving the main button. Oh, Lord.
we are back underway in the second half. Let's hear it for the Cubbies. Come on now. All right, we got Madison on the floor now for the Cubbies. Get up for Madison.
as the Cubbies look to build their lead here. You know, you should really follow, if you're watching the stream right now online, you gotta follow the Discovery Center on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. They're at, at the Discovery Center on Twitter. That's at the Discovery Center on Twitter, with 407 to go here in the third. On Instagram, It's also at the Scarlet Center as well. Oh, nice shot there for friends and family. 24 8. themselves they cross the timeline in center court at uh, Karen and so it's, it's kind of cool to see them have their moment there with three minutes to go and it's good for two 26 to 8 with two minutes to go
26 to 12. In left, and uh, 26 seconds left in the third. Ten seconds left. And he has it. Three quarters are done, but the Cubbies are up 26 to 12, heading to quarter four. All right, I'm here. I need to cut my mic off. They must cut my mic in between quarters or something. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Um, but thank you for coming out for this. And I love bringing on people to talk to during the stream because doing play-by-play -play is not always easy. Well, I only do this once a year.
Hello, hello. There we go. All right. Now we're back here for the fourth quarter of play. And I have with me the Northampton Town Supervisor, Jen Lucina. Jen, thanks for joining me today. And joining us today. Yes. It's, it's my pleasure, pleasure to be here. here. You do such great work at the Sarani School, so I love seeing kids play and having fun. And I'm very happy to join in the fun today. I gotta ask you this. You played for a little bit. Is that difficult? What's it like for you playing with It is difficult. I'm not a basketball player. We have different rules, and uh, I can't be too competitive. <laughs> Finding the right level of competition is, is important um, so that we all have fun. So what does the stretch mean to the town world what, what, what impact does Because you mentioned community as well. Tell us about that. Well, I mean, the starting school has an impact way beyond the town of Hempstead. Uh, you have students and families who are coming here from all over New York State. So such an impressive place, an incredible staff here. Dr. Rosa's great. Look at Gina finally getting in there. <laughs> Go assembly woman. Um, so it's important within the town of North Hempstead, you're a resource that we can turn to for questions about disability access. So I'm happy to turn to you here for a resource on what we need to provide for our residents and families. Jen, you are, that's her first term. How many years have you been a supervisor here? And how, how can I have you been the last few years? I've only been the supervisor for one year, and unfortunately it's only a two-year term, so uh, getting, getting used to it and learning all the resources we have, and uh, I hope to continue for, for many years and, and see the great work you're doing here. And, and the, all the support from all of you, I guess you're all the help the school? I would definitely work with our state legislators from Albany to let them know what we need um, and find out what they can provide. There's always new grants coming out, so we, we all have to pay attention, whether it be infrastructure, water, treatment, and obviously um, resources for our families, our residents with disabilities, who deserve everything that, that we all our residents have. This is your two for you, so I guess you're going to make the attempts at more tests in other words, is what I'm getting. I would very much like to, and I'll be turning to um, the board here at the Starting Center for help doing that. Well, thank you so much for supporting us here today. And that was uh, North Hampton Town Supervisor Ben Messina, and uh, are you going to play again? You might get one more, one more shot of this, huh? We'll have to see. Right now, it's 704 left in the fourth, 26 14. And the Cubbies are up now 26 16 yeah. after that one. We have a big day here, by the way. If you're on the stream, stay tuned. We got JV, we got varsity, we even got alumni. And as an alumnus, by the way, graduate of 2009, I'm proud to say that there is an active community of over 350 HDS alumni basketball outside the court, on the court. That's very cool as well. And of course, And now, LJ has it once again. 6.16 to go. And of course, it's always fun watching these Cubbies work to become future alumni. Let's put it that way, with 5.54 to go.
Uh, we have sweatshirts, we've got a bake sale, the cheerleading squad has some good, uh, you know, shirts on set, gear on sale as well, so check it out. And there's some breakfast in the cafeteria as well, and I think they're going to do a little job tonight. 4.52 to go here in the fourth. Basketball, come on, King. With 3.15 to go. Cubby's up by 12.
Good afternoon, everybody. Can I have your attention real quick? My name is Coach Joe. Welcome to the annual Sportsmanship Tournament. It's great to see everybody here. Thank you for coming. This is the first time we are together in three years since the pandemic. So this is great to be back on the court um, and be able to play and show you what we've learned and how we play. And uh, um, I hope you guys have a good time. Um, as you see in the cafeteria, we have all sorts of sales going on. All the student councils, the basketball, the cheerleading, uh, senior class, we're all selling something. So spend your money, please. Thank you. Um, this year, coming out of the pandemic, being the first year on the basketball court, we did something a little bit different. Um, the teams that we usually play against, unfortunately, do not, do not exist anymore. I am actively looking for kids to play, um, but I did not want to not have this tournament. It's too important to, have this, to not have this tournament. So I've created what I call a community day, and it's all organizations and companies and things like that that have helped us as Viscardi um, do what we do um, best. Uh, during the Cubby game, we had some local politicians come and play. You know, they're very important to us, helping with budgets and things like that. Uh, for the JV game, I have two organizations here that have helped us. Um, again, whether it's the school or specifically the basketball program or even uh, a bunch of years ago when we did the Biscardi bike ride. Uh, we have Curb, which is a uh, organization out of Long Beach, Citizens United to Remove Barriers. And they, their sole purpose is to help make businesses and residences accessible, right? Making sure that, you know, people with disabilities can access their homes and the businesses around uh, Nassau County. Then we have the Williston Park Rotary Club, which is a local club. They are businessmen and women from the area that literally just get together and they raise money and give them to organizations. We, very fortunately, have been the benefactor of that for probably the last 10 or 12 years. Uh, so I've invited them to play. Um, so that's who everybody in here is. The lime green shirts are curb, and the non-uniform is uh, rotary. Um, again, thank you for all you do, for your hard work and dedication towards the Henry Pichardi School, wheelchair basketball program, and anything I actually ask you to do, you do. All right, you're here today. Thank you. We have our referee, Jerry Palel, our referee. We have Alex Garrett, who is a uh, alumni, a Biscardi alumni, on the microphone. We have some uh, Delphi students here helping us out uh, on the scoreboard. Uh, I think we got everything. Um, thank you for coming. Have a great day. After the game, go buy some stuff. Before we start, a round of applause for Joe Slonigan. Come on now. And again, thanks to Curb and Willis Rotary for supporting us and coming out today to play with us today.
All right. Oh, aggressive already. I love it. All right. On the floor for JV, by the way, give it up. We got Benjamin. And Adriana has it. Here we go. For the first two points, will she get it? On the floor for JV, by the way. Give it up for Ben, Benjamin Buck, Adriana, Naomi, Damani, and Michael are your starting five for JV today. I love the crowd participation here early on as the JV Cougars are on defense right now. All right, back to the JV Cougars. For those watching online, yes, we are streaming this game on YouTube today, uh, all day long at the Sportsmanship Tournament. Do you know, if you're watching this right now and you've made a contribution and you've supported the Viscardi Center, you've actually invested in 200 new laptops to help students both in school and at home. Here comes Ben under the hoop for two. There it is, two nothing. So if you're here today, if you've watched online, you are part of that investment of 200 new laptops to help students both in school and at home. And of course, in-school learning has become such a big part uh, during COVID, post uh, where we are now in COVID. And, uh, and so thank you for your support in getting those laptops to our students to make sure they don't miss a beat, even if they're not in the classroom. And turnover as it is, JB. JV basketball. Up to nothing with 7.30 to go in the first quarter. And now Naomi has it for JV. Great screens by her teammates to get her to the hoop for two, slams it home. Four nothing, JV. JV applying some pressure here to Team Curb slash Willis and Rotary. But good teamwork and passing for two, and it's four to two. All right, JV has it with six minutes to go in the first, four to two. Give it up for Damani, he has the basketball right now. Damani does. Oh, helping him out. Nice screen there. Oh, great screen again. Awesome picks to Michael for two. Mikey for two. 
Six to two, Biscardi. JV ba Cougars are up. All right, as we're in a timeout here, I'm here with Rich from Curb. Rich, why do you support the Biscardi Center, and thanks for coming out today. We support the Biscardi Center because it's such a wonderful place. We get to see all these smiling faces when they get, you know, accessibility to all the wonderful things in life. Now you're going to get to play today. That's my million-dollar question right now. Are you going to get to play? Oh, I am going to get to play. Joe wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> all right, well, we look forward. Thank you so much for supporting the Biscardi Center. Give up for Rich and Curb. Come on now. Back to the action. 418 left, 6 to 2. JB leads it. And here comes Naomi for JB, up 6 to 2. If you are watching this on the live stream and want to know more about us, go to ViscardiCenter.org. That's Viscardi and Naomi for two. That's ViscardiCenter.org, eight to two. JB leads it. To find out about who we are at the Henry Viscardi School and Henry Viscardi Center. Biscardi basketball with 3.08 to go in the first quarter. By the way, as we mentioned earlier, there's a lot of things going on behind in the bleacher area, behind the bleachers. We've got uh, sweatshirts. We got we got gear on sale for both the Biscardi Center, the cheerleading team. We got a big sale going on. So much uh, to look at and shop today here at the Biscardi Center. And uh, Maybe got a new look here coming out of the Biscardi Center today. Now for two, Damani lays it in. 10 to 2, HVSJV. And if you're just joining the stream live, I'm Alex Garrett, alumni 2009, and thanks for tuning in here. We are at the Biscardi Center. We are at the first sportsmanship tournament in three years. That's right, we are back at it. Three years later, pretty much, pretty big achievement to get this back up and running again, and uh, it does feel like old home here a little bit. Up 10-2 is JV with two minutes to go in the first quarter. If you're following us on YouTube and watching us on YouTube, just jump on our Twitter and Instagram as well at Biscardi Center. And another shoe off here at Biscardi Center on Instagram and on Twitter. We're almost done with the first quarter. I got here. Are you guys having fun yet or what? Come on now. Now we're back in action here. <clears throat> 10 to 2. JV leads it. And it's Biscardi basketball. Up 10 to 2.
aggressive. 115 to go here in the first. They really want that turnover now, and they might get it as that one. No good, rebound. By Ben, great board by Benjamin. Under a minute to go now. 10 to two, Ben has it with the rebound. Looking for two at the end of the floor. Can he get it? Nice, slowing the pace up, shot. Gets his own board. Got it, for two. 12 to two with 40 seconds to go here in the first quarter. All right, 23 seconds left. And by the way, this tournament caps off a huge spirit week here at Biscardi. And yesterday was a big pep rally here. Uh, as, as always, the day before the tournament, they have this huge pep rally. And so I'm sure it's been quite a spirit week here at HBS. And I couldn't think of another way, a better way to cap off that entire week than the rejuvenation, if you will, of the HVS Sportsmanship Tournament. As we are 11 seconds out. And to those that have been, huh? Michael for two. Got it at the buzzer. Count it. 14 to two. HVS's JV Cougars lead it against Williston and Team Kerr. We are underway here in the second quarter. Join me at 14 to 2. And if you're watching on the live stream right now, by the way, thank you for tuning in. But do you know this is actually our what, fourth live event this year? Yeah, or even the fifth. We can have to go about it. We had the sports night event back up and running this year. Oh, rebound by Alex. Great rebound there. And now he's zooming down the court. Moving. Person. You had a reach for a star luncheon in person, and now this. So, 
This has been a year of a comeback, not only for everybody, but for the Viscardi Center here in Albertson, New York. And thanks to you, family, students, staff, for making all of this happen today. And we give yourselves a round of applause for coming out today and being part of this huge event. And all year long. All right, Abby has the basketball. Give it up for Abby right now. Look at that some space. She's found it. For two. Six forty to go with twenty to lead and out of bounds. Viscardi basketball. Inbound now with six ten to go.
So if you guys notice, there's a lot of resistance on the floor for our players. That is our physical occupation, speech, and uh, auditory therapists at work today to make sure that these kids have a great time. But did you know that there's a combined 11,000 hours of care that has been given this year as Alex has now all alone for Juliana to the Hoopers to give the assist. Oh, great teamwork for Taylor Juliana! I love that pass to her under the hoop all alone. Now that's teamwork right there, 26 to 4, with a minute 35 to go. First of all, give it up for all the OTs, PTs, 
speech therapists, auditory therapists of the Viscardi School, dedicating hours and hours to our students here in the Viscardi Center. Give a look for those, uh, all the therapists, and did you know that they clocked in over 11,000 hours of care this year alone to all our students? Thank you to all our uh, OT, DT, speech, uh, department, uh, you know, leaders here, and therapists.
Hello? All right. All right, before we get the second half started, um, I want to bring somebody up. If we can hold the wall, please. Hold the wall. Um, okay, before we get started, um, Rich Papetti from Curve, uh, Citizens United through Barriers, uh, would like to come up and say a few words. Again, Curve is a locally based organization um, out of Long Beach, but they help people across Long Island to help their homes and their businesses become more accessible. Rich. We are here for one reason, because from the very first day we met Joe, we have been in love with him. Here's a man that you don't know has done every sport that there is known to man, some that none of us would do. He, he, there's no fear in this guy's life. And he coaches this team, he's amazing, and he comes to our bike ride every year to support us. And it's just great knowing him and being here to help him out. And we have a small donation from Curb and also uh, something from former Assemblyman Harvey Wiesner. And we just like, you know, every day, every little bit helps. So, thank you, John. Thank you. All right, so, from former Assemblyman Harry, Harvey Weisenberg, who was very uh, helpful when he was in office for our kids that actually live in Long Beach. He was very helpful for them to get here as the starting students. He donated $200, and Curb donated $250. Thank you. All right, let's play some basketball. Once again for Curb and their donation today and being part of this whole day here at the Spartan Tournament. Give it up once again. We've been friends with Joe for our 10, 12 years. Uh, he asked us if we can uh, help out and have some fun with the, uh, the Scarlet School, and we're glad to help. Now, I know this is one of the first time watching this in person. What's it like for you to be here today? Uh, pretty incredible what, it, what the kids can do. So, uh, so exciting and so much fun today. And, uh, and we look forward to a long-term you know, connection with you guys and Melissa Rory. Thanks for coming out today. Thanks so much. Glad to be here today. That was Morris. And we're back here in the third quarter. Second half starting and underway. On the floor, once again for JB, Damani, Naomi, Michael, Adriana, and Benjamin. Give it up. Damani to Michael for two. on the live stream. Stay tuned. We got varsity coming up. We got alumni coming up. We got a lot more to go here at the Viscardi Center. It is again the annual sports tournament, which was of course on hiatus for a couple of years here due to COVID, but we are back at it today. All island. Play, right? 
All right, Adriana. For two. Lines it up. Oh, old board gotten by the starter with 7.30 to go here in the third quarter. brought a dog with them today. The North Shore Animal League is here in the cafeteria, so check out their table as well. It, it's always good to know that all hands on deck are here are here today to support the kids, to support the Viscardi Center, support the Viscardi School. And of course, if you're watching online and having been part of this from afar, thank you as well for all you've done um, to Continue the great work here at the Viscardi School, the Viscardi Center. And all the efforts here today are why we've been able to make a strong comeback here in 2022. Oh, and a steal by Damani. Come on now. With six minutes to go. He's one on two. What's he gonna do here? He's got Adriana behind for assistance and needed, but Damani puts it home. With 545 remaining here in the third. Discarding JB on the All right, five oh five to go here. Thirty eight to seven. And a dunk for two. Forty to seven. Delphi University's uh, phys ed program helping out here today as well and uh, love their connection and our partnership with the Delphi uh, for many years now by the way so thanks for continuing that tradition here with us at the Viscardi Center. And uh, her students remind me to give you a shout out. So Professor Lisa Santos, if you're in the building, your students say they love you and they want to say hello to you and thank you for a great semester so far. And probably for introducing them to the Viscardi School as well, right? So there you go. <laughs> I didn't see them I love the pressure by Damani there at center court. Come on now. For two, nope. Rebound, out of bounds. JB basketball. I just want to 
say their efforts today by JV is possible because of the weekly practices they do every week. You have Joe, you have the staff uh, working on these kids every week. So give them a shout out for the, all the practice that goes into this and the kids' willingness to learn it every week as well and get better. It's uh, almost like they draw these plays up. I don't know, but it looks pretty good. 42-7, uh, JV. All right, Abby has it. Come on, give it up for Abby right now. She's got the basketball. She's at the hoop. seconds left here. Thirty-five seconds. Naomi has it. Forty-four seven. JB Cougars. For two. Oh, two ladies in. Forty-six to seven. Hey, if you're watching live on the stream, and I see there, there are a few people watching, it's great. Uh, tell your friends, tune on into this day here at the Sportsman Tournament. We the uh, three quarters gone by. And it is 46 to 7 JV basketball. But we've got a lot of great content here at the Biscardi Center YouTube page. And uh, I might have out in the fourth quarter, but they renovated our independent living house to provide an innovative setting for youth and adults with disabilities to learn daily living skills. And that was thanks to a generous gift by Iris and Saul Katz. And so I'll get to that more in a little bit, but I know we're at the break, so we'll come back in a little bit here on the Biscardi Center's YouTube uh, channel. Streaming live in 2022, Henry Viscardi School Annual Wheelchair Basketball Sportsmanship Tournament. I'm Alex Kerr.
All right, guys, come on, give it up for Zion. She's got the basketball. Oh, great pick by Lauren Louder. She stays through the rim for two. Nice effort there by Alex, by the way, to try and swipe that one. 6.28 to go here in the fourth. All right, give it up for Adriana. She's got the ball right now. Adriana does. 6.15 to go.
That was a pretty good shot, I gotta say. All right, five, ten to go here in the fourth. Ryan Maloney has it. Come on, give it up for Ryan. With five minutes to go. By the way, I love the energy of this crowd today. Come on, it's been fun so far. I say, love the energy. And a giveaway. Alex has it with, it with four minutes to go. Number seven for two. Got it. Trying to find the open person does. Rich underneath the hoop. No good, gets his own board. Three positions for two. That's good. And now, setting up for the inbound here with 90 seconds to go. on the YouTube channel, or if you love what you're seeing here today in person, go to ViscardiCenter.org for more information. If you're just finding out about the Viscardi Center today and what the Viscardi School does for kids with physical disabilities on the island and actually around the city as well. We have a lot of sick kids here. Oh, Ryan, that participate in this uh, program, the JV, the Varsity, and the Cubbies. So check us out who we are at the Viscardi Center. And the Henry Viscardi School also has a Facebook page, which I would recommend checking out as well. 30 seconds left. Lauren puts it in for two, and they are at 60 points. Now, are they playing this next game too? Or? 
Attention please, if there are any other alumni that would like to play and are not on the court, please come to the court immediately. Thank you very much. Again, any alumni that are not on the court but want to play, please come to the court right now. Thank you.
Good afternoon, everybody. I am Coach Joe. Welcome to the annual sportsmanship tournament. We have not been here for a couple of years, so we thought it was time that we get the ball rolling and play some basketball. This morning we had the Cubbies and the JV. Right now we have the alumni game. The kids that are playing today, or young men and women that are playing today, are responsible for this program and how successful it is. We have students, former students, from all the way back in 1997, all the way to the present time of 2021. Uh, they are a big reason that this program is still alive. 30 years later. Um, I'd like you to give them a big round of applause. All right. Let's play some basketball. I hope you guys remember how to play. And with the basketball right now is Matt Lindblad, graduate of the uh, Biscardi in 2009. Give a round of applause to him for coming back and playing today.
Basket for Lindblad for two. Now uh, they're on the board. Recent graduate Paul has the ball right now. So as Joe was mentioning, this has been a work in progress the last couple of years, and Kate Wiglikowski here, a huge part of why this is happening today, gathering all the alumni up once again. And did you know, there's an active community of over 350 HBS alumni, and I know you want to add to that. So definitely, if you, have more informa if you want more information on how to be part of this in the alumni community, just email Kate at... I'm going to get this right. Hold on one second. I'm not going to mess it up. Come on. It's the second time I had to look it up, actually. Uh, email K at kweglikowski at viscardicenter.org. And a reminder for those alumni in attendance, did you know we have a casino night uh, upcoming in February? And not only that, if you're an alumni, you and a guest can go for free. It'll be right here on Thursday, February 9th, 2023. All in Viscardi is what we're calling it. And again, just email K. Wiglikowski at kwiglikowski at viscardicenter.org. Are they still doing practices after this? Yeah. Oh, Steve Murders. All right, Steve with the basketball now for Viscardi alumni, Team White. Nice work there trying to get to the hoop. Joaquin and Paul fighting for it. Ah, jump ball. Possession goes to Team Blue. Now, this team has been practicing every Thursday night from 6 p.m. to 7.30. And so I highly recommend you check out practice if you're alumni, if you missed the glory days of wheelchair basketball, playing basketball, come back. We'd love to have you be part of this Viscardi alumni basketball team um, for great events like this, the practice that goes on every week, 6 to 7, 30 p.m., right here at the Viscardi Center. Kate, when did, when did Keith graduate? 
Keelan's alumni of the 90s is one of the oldest alumni here. I don't mean to make him sound old, but he is only but a goodie. I like that one, K.Y. Bukowski. 432 to go here in the first for all. Oh, fighting for the rebound, and it is nice play by Eric Ryan. Coming back to his old Salmon Grounds to Matt Lindblad. Great passing again for two. Enrique. Rebound to Joaquin for two. Nice pass to Paul. Paul, double team. Back to Nestor. Still got the skills there. Look at that. Nice spin move. And... By the way, if you're watching this, do you know that Viscardi Alumni has a Facebook page... Uh, as well, and I encourage you, especially if you're watching online, to just jump over to Facebook real quick and love the Alumni Association page and the debut of a cheerleading squad here. Give it up for them as well. And hopefully, Cubby the Cougar makes an appearance soon. We gotta find out our team mascot. Meanwhile, Joaquin has it. Back to Matt Lindblad, Lindblad. Oh, that spin move like it was yesterday and out of bounds. Team White maintains control. If you go to the Viscardi Alumni Facebook page, you can actually sign up uh, to email. And we're actually got a website here, ViscardiAlumni.com. That's ViscardiAlumni.com. And sign up for updates uh, as they continue to grow this alumni organization. We're at 350 right now. Would love to get that over 400 or more. And if you're on the stream, tell a friend that uh, we're always looking to expand the Viscardi Alumni Association. Jump ball, basketball stays with Team White. Still has it with 29 seconds left. Maneuvering gets it to Joaquin. Joaquin, under pressure, has help around him. Takes a shot, no good. Nestor with the rebound. 16 seconds to go here in this first quarter of the alumni game. Nestor loses the ball, picked up by Joaquin. Two seconds left. 
Katie protecting the rim. But at the end of one, it is Team White, eight. Team Blue, six. Yeah, they have all the, they have some big sale stuff, they have some the shirts. All right, we have started the second quarter here. Alumni Team White with it. Paul applying some defensive pressure here. But Joaquin has it. Dwayne for two. Air ball and... <laughs> Joe's just shaking his head. <laughs> there we go. Nestor has it now. Nice bounce to Paul for two. A all. We got a tie game here in the second quarter. I want to say this because these guys are alumni, so I got to say this. The Viscardi School seniors graduate, and this was an impact in 2022, graduated with a 100% attending college or community programs. So 
not only do our, our students graduate, they go on to college, they go on to different things, and they, they go out and make a difference in the world. And I think for all the teachers and all the, the, the staff here that, that see the growth, uh, that's something we're proud of. Their work, that their love, care, uh, carries with us into the real world. 7.35 to go here in the second quarter. Oh, nice pass to Paul for two. A few straight baskets here for Team Blue here in the second quarter. 7-10 to go. By the way, 627 to go here, 12 to 10. I've seen this Viscardi alumni group grow over the last couple of years, and I know Katie got me really proud of that. And uh, congrats on all the efforts on getting everybody here today. This is, this is great. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And she's playing, so she's kind of focused on the game right now. But Nestor has the basketball, 14 blue. They're up by two, by the way, with six minutes. Play of Petros for two. What a pass and two. And the hoop's a little awkward right now, but uh, Petros ready to do it again. He's going to make the basket anyway. 14 to 10. And it's good to see that recent alumni are getting involved as well as uh, those from the 90s and the early, late 2000s getting involved all today. And unlike other years where we've had this, this is such an organized game today. Like the practice is really showing on the court. And so are they doing the practices after today or is that continuing through the rest of the year? Uh, this will be the last uh, game of the year and we will resume back in March. So anybody that wants to come and join in the alumni. <laughs> um, <laughs> Anybody that wants to come, uh, will we be resuming back in March of 2023? March of 2023. So definitely keep an eye on this program as it grows. A massive collision. So for those watching on the stream, what just happened is Matt Lindblad unfortunately flipped out of his chair and the chair actually toppled on him, but he looks like he's going to be okay. It's just something that I saw back in the day, you know what I mean? So he's been a competitor his whole time here at Biscardi, so this is actually not a surprise. All right, give him a round of applause as uh, he is okay, Matt Lindblad.
There's something wrong with that phone. Let me see. Never a dull moment, I like that. All right, 436, 14 to 10. Uh, Matt's good. Sign waiver, we're good. We sign waiver, that's good. Uh, Steven, come here for a second. Talk to me, because I know you like to talk too, so talk about your time at Viscardi and what it meant to be. This is Steven Burgess, by the way. Uh, so I graduated in 2001, which is like, I feel really old compared to a lot of people here. I'm working at uh, AAA as a supervisor, and it's good to be back with everybody. Now you, uh, you play this game almost every year, right? So does this year feel different having done all the practice, or what? Uh, we st I've been here since, I mean, ever since this program started, since I've been here. And then now, ever since we've started the alumni, I've been here every week, almost. And do you like that this is a viable option for alumni, and do you recommend this for other alumni? Absolutely. I think it's a great uh, conduit for everybody to get together and, and just be a part of the family again. Because that's what I think what was missing for so long, is being part of the family. Are you with AAA? Can you tell me a traffic forecast for the holidays or what? Ever since Thanksgiving, it's been a disaster. And I'm a supervisor, so I have to take all the escalations and the people. It's, it's not fun. Wow. Congrats on, on doing things in the world here and then all the impact that Viscardi made on your life as well. Thanks for coming back. All right, 3.20 to go. We'll hear from more alumni as the day goes on here. As it is the alumni game, Team Blue, Team White, Madeline Webb flipped over. Just another day in the wheelchair basketball world here. And he's doing okay and he's back out there, so we're good. He signed away. Yeah, I got to talk to Joaquin as well because I know that he's done a lot of poetry in his time after Viscardi, so I gotta talk to him about that um, in maybe halftime or, or oh, the second half. Dwayne coming back, come at, made the trip up from Virginia actually, so cool that we have long distance alumni as well coming back today. Uh, and you know what? If you're not in New York and watching this or following, go to ViscardiAlumni.com, especially if you wanna get involved. We do take people who are not, you know, in the tri state area, right, Carrie, Katie? So we'll take. Yes, but to be on the alumni team, you have to be a former student or a participant of a program. Which is still not a bad, that, that's still a pretty flexible qualification to, to, if you are a former student living elsewhere, we always encourage you to come back, for sure. All right, we got a game here, 16-14. Lindblad back at it. The net is uh, under the Ryan. It's so weird to say Ryan when I miss the other Ryan as well. Normally they're all... They're always the other Ryan twins, but Eric was stuck on the net, so we regroup. Two eleven to go. By the way, special shout out to our referee Jerry. I mean, come on, Jerry, our referee, has seen us grow from like eons, and and it's always great to have him back out here at the tournament as well. Go 16 12. Nestor has it now. As Katie coaches. For two. No good. Rebound by Joaquin. A minute and a half to go. This has been a fast paced couple of quarters here. We're not done yet. Limblad backs up trying to find Joaquin, gets him over the shoulder pass, back oh, to Matt, it. slams it home! Ha <laughs> <laughs> love it. <laughs> that just hyped up all of Team White there, I just gotta say. Hyped up all of Team White. <laughs> 30 second timeout. Now, if you 
you are alumni, you might you might want to know this one. Um, did you know that in 2022, the Scardi Center upskilled and mentored 20 aspiring disabled entrepreneurs to help build their, build their business? So, if you are someone with disabilities and you want to work and you want to get your own career started, come back to Biscardi Center and we will help you get that done. It's proofs in the pudding. There are, on record, 20 entrepreneurs that have uh, built their business and, and gotten help building their business through the Viscardi Center. So if you're alumni and you're listening, watching, or are in this building with us right now and hear that stat, and you have an idea you want to build as well, uh, come back and, and you can get the tools and, and really the help necessary to make it happen. Alex, what's yours? When did you graduate? I know you. I've been here since I was like. My brother! Oh my god! Little Alex. Little Alex, yep. What did you do? Uh, are you living in the state still or are you. Dwayne gets it to Matt Lindblad. 30 seconds to go. Oh, another crash. 20 seconds to go. Matt being Matt, crashing into the use buttons is okay. I believe Sean Hughes is in the building. I, I could be wrong about that, but uh, another alumni here coming on through. And what a competitive first half. Give it up for the alumni after half number one and half time. Before they put on music, I just want to say to Joe and Tom working our AV today at our stream. Thank you so much for making this a seamless transition from the uh, the gymnasium to YouTube. So thank you guys for making that happen. And if you got to cut my mic off for the half, that's fine. I'll be back to you a little bit later in the half. All right, half time. Alumni games. Team Parker. I'd like to bring up the newly formed. The Scarty Killing Squad. Give a big round of applause. The Scarty Killing.
showing pictures from 2011. That's crazy. <laughs> you just said I saw something different. <laughs> Second half, ready to start a long night game. Oh my god, go. everybody's dropping something. Alright, come on guys, it's the second half of the alumni game. No, no, that will not happen. Alright, we're here in the beginning of the second half, third quarter, 9.40 to go. Joaquin, off the board. Rebound loose on the floor. Oh, and Dana Strapke on the floor. Give her a shout out. She's new in this one today. Paul has it. Great defense by Enrique here. All right, 855 to go here. Two shots for Lindblad. Correction, two shots for Nestor. So, I don't know what the hell's going on. Go 
man to man. Eventually. Me? No. All right, Matt has it now. 17-13, Team Blue. As Team White looks to make a comeback here. Let's see where he's looking to go. He is trying to take it to the rack himself. Let's see. Oh, nice bounce pass. But it's off two hands and out of bounds. <laughs> Great pass there. And pass back to Nestor for two. Off the board, rebounded by Enrique. Now it's handed off to Limblad again. Now it's 7.45 to go here. I do feel like I'm in that glory days watching these guys up and down the floor again like it was yesterday, to be honest with you. And that's why I say if you want to be part of the alumni, you got to check out ViscardiAlumni.com and, and, uh, and be part of this active 350 member HDS alumni community. I know we can grow that, and maybe not by the end of the year, but definitely in 2023. And you've got something to look forward to. If this is uh, exciting to you that we have wheelchair basketball back for the alumni, if, if wheelchair basketball meant as much as it did uh, to these kids as it does to you, then come back, represent your old high school, represent your, as an alumnus, on the court with the HBS Alumni Wheelchair Basketball Team. I gotta love it though, he's in there every possession it seems like. And that's a basket. And I believe in an and one as well. So count the basket for Paul and the N1 coming up. Paul Navarro with the shot. It's good. Six point lead now. Nice two for Paul 
on that one, 22-15. I know he does, he's an author. But am I allowed to do that or should I just keep it on the story? For two, and it's twin four fifteen. Turn over there, and it's uh, Team Blue. I gotta say, they may not be on the court, but there is a contingent of the Scardi alumni in the corner way over there, so thanks to all of them for coming out as well. And as I say, they this community continues to grow on and off the court. And again, if you're watching online or not, if you're here in person, a reminder, Thursday, February 9th, 2023, we're going all in for Viscardi right here at the Viscardi Center, filled with a variety of gaming tables, playing chips, open bar, can I say that? I guess I can. Silent auction and raffles, dinner and dessert buffet, and networking opportunities. Don't miss out on this incredible night to support Viscardi's new, inclusive, higher education and post-secondary initiatives for students with disabilities. Fundraise will go towards student needs such as laptops, educational materials, transportation, assistive technology, personal care assistance, internships, and scholarships. I cannot uh, let today go by without giving a shout out to, and I'm hoping he comes, I haven't seen him yet. Chris Rosa, the president and CEO of the Viscardi Center has done so much in almost a year since he got in here uh, as the president and CEO. So I wanna give him a shout out as well um, for all the work he's been doing early on in his tenure as the Viscardi president and CEO. I want to also give a shout out to the technological department of the Viscardi Center. Did you know, in 2022, 80 businesses nationwide were made digitally, uh, digital media accessible, meaning they made accessibility to people with disabilities um, through digital media. 80 businesses adapted their media accessibility to people with disabilities thanks to the help of Mike Caprera and the Viscardi Center. That is tremendous news that this uh, center is making an impact not just on Long Island, not just in Albertson, but nationwide. 80 businesses impacted by the Viscardi Center. And you know why? Because those who support the Viscardi Center that are watching online right now that might be a donor. We look at the wall here. We see Iris and Saul Katz and that family uh, who's been a partner of the Viscardi Center for years. Castagna, Castagna Realty Company, the Pascucci family. All of them uh, have been a reason why we're able to do this today. 
and why this center and the Viscardi School continues its great work. And then another thing that maybe our alumni should know is that this year, the Viscardi Center was recognized with a leading disability employer seal for the fifth straight year by the National Organization on Disability. That's right. There is a leading disability. We are a leading disability employer as well as a trainer for those disabilities uh, into the workforce. And that's something to really be in, in proud of, as is placing 125, as Joaquin has here, unemployed disabled individuals into new jobs. And so I hope the alumni are listening to this and saying, wow, this is a, a school and a center that's been putting in a lot of work. And uh, again, having that active community helps continue that work as well. Forty seconds left in this third quarter. Let me keep going here about, about the work readiness programs because tech, uh, the tech department also launched new work readiness training modules to serve 200 youths and veterans. And we mentioned, we heard uh, Assemblywoman Saletti mentioned the Veterans Day Parade here that the Viscardi students held. Well, the Viscardi Center, and that one's good, has really helped the veterans as well. So if you know a veteran on Long Island or elsewhere that might need some assistance, well, guess what? The Viscardi Center counseled 100 veterans with service-related disabilities to transition into civilian jobs. So from K through 12, to the adult workforce, the Viscardi Center is leaving a blueprint and has a blueprint in the community. At that rate, we are at the end of three quarters, 24-19, Team Blue. With, uh, well, one more quarter to go. What? You did? I missed, I was... All right, let's give it up. One more quarter to go for these alumni here. Let's go. Let's hear, see what they do here in the fourth quarter. Keith for two. And I know it was at Reach for a Star Luncheon, but I got to give a shout out to Richard Bedard, who was recently highlighted in the Fall 22 Viscardi voice. Richard is a graduate from 2012, put him on the board for two there, uh, and, he, and he graduated Viscardi with a mission. He wanted to find a way to advocate for others with disabilities as they navigate higher education, employment, and community life. This compelled him to pursue his PhD 
in clinical psychology at Hofstra University with a determination to provide guidance and resources to young people with disabilities and their families. Reflecting on his time spent as a student at Viscardi, Richard describes the academic environment as one that was deeply attuned to his needs, which readied him for his transition to an independent adult life. From the independent living house, he says, to its academics, and the way he learned to speak up and receive accommodations, Viscardi did it all when it, all, when it came to preparing me for college, Richard said. And he also know that growing up, Richard wanted to emulate. And the ball is loose on the floor. And it's Limblad with the basketball right now. So growing up, Richard Bedard showed to emulate an admired role model, Dr. Henry Viscardi Jr. Like Dr. Viscardi, he wished to understand and positively impact how the world views disability. So that is the Viscardi Voice Spotlight this month on Richard Bedard. And uh, I see him here and there, and I, I know that he's doing well, and, and I always good to hear of stories of our own life. Limblad with it. Oh, what a fast pass to Enrique. Ball is loose. Paul for two, that was a long shot. Off the board, Nestor gets his teammates rebound. Drives in to Petros. No good, rebounded by Limblad. Great try there by Petros. 7.15 to go here in the fourth. We got a barn burner, it's 26-21 with 7.10 to go here in the fourth. Team Blue leading it by just five and That was a slam dunk by Lindblad, by the way, 26-23, with 6.50 to go. No basket. That would be an air ball. No basket. 6.20 to go. 26.23. Viscardi uh, alumni team. White with the basketball right now. Down by three. Nice rebound by Dwayne for two, no. And Nestor with the board, 5.35 to go here. Down, up by just three, Team Blue.
fight for the ball on the ground. What's going to happen here? Five minutes to go. For those watching on the stream, thanks so much for tuning in today. And uh, every time we do this, I know our viewership is up on, on the Viscardi Center web stream, so thank you for that. And I highly recommend you check out all the different videos that are uh, up there on the Viscardi Center website and, because, and on the YouTube, Instagram, Dwayne for two, no good, because there's a lot of projects that have been going on here. You have a new pool that we kind of all grew up in, by the way, but it's been renovated and unveiled. It's called the John J. Guttlieber Aquatic Center, made possible by Castagna Rio T, and we value their partnership with the Biscardi Center, by the way. And so, Uh, that, that is one thing I, I think alumni could check out as well. It's like, whoa, they, they upgraded the pool here. So that's one thing. And then they upgraded the independent living house, which all of us have experienced at least once or twice. And with 420 to go, a timeout on the floor by Team Blue. Yeah, a timeout here. I like that they put this game between the JV and Varsity. It gives the alumni a spotlight here. Of course, we are an ever-growing alumni community, and we got a website, biscardialumni.com, if you're just uh, tuning in the web stream, and our alumnus. And as we talked about earlier, if you're out of town, like Dwayne's came up from Virginia, if you're out of town but are a graduate of the Viscardi School, We'd love to have you. We would love to have you back as alumni and join the over 350 active members in this community. I myself am a graduate of the 2009 class with Matt LeBlanc. And uh, you know, Viscardi definitely has given me the tools uh, in the, uh, for the world outside of here. And so I think Joe Salonica, I think the staff the teachers here, while I have a moment, to say that um, for all they've done over the years and beyond as alumnus here at Fiscari as well. <laughs> nice play off a of bounce there. 4.17 to go. 26-23. This might be a a moment here as they are just down by three is Team White. And Miss Lindblad has it. Trying to find the right angle here, I think. Look, literally looking for a lane. Oh. Three thirty-five to go, and uh, time winding down here. Have to stop them for a chance the other end of the floor. Nestor has it though. Great defense. What's his last name? Oh, I mentioned Joe and Tom a while ago, but I can do it again. Twenty-eight, twenty-three. again to our AV team making all this possible today. Joe and Tom, fun working with you guys as well. Joaquin has it now for two. Let's go! Huge basket here with 2.45 to go, just down by three. Thank <laughs> you. 
you hear me. Do you see Ted Trent anywhere? Katie. 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 Do you see Ted Choke anywhere? Ted? Choke? The tall guy? We are getting feisty here <laughs> at the alumni game, I'll tell you. Hopefully Dwayne is good. <laughs> Graduate in 2006, by the way. By the way, if you are new to this, I gotta say this, later on in the day, you will see a very special presentation. It's the Scott Pollock Spirit Award in honor of Scotty Pollock, and Joe Slonica will tell you about that later in the day, but we're gonna have an award for the varsity squad at the uh, 2 p.m. game. So stay tuned for that as well. We're, we're, I feel like we're just getting started here. We got a lot of basketball to go. It's been fun having the alumni. Almost another flip, by the way. No good. Oh, Lindblad had it, lost it. See his frustration there. I think what I love the most is that these alumni come back and are competitive as ever in this game today. It's one of the first real organized alumni games, and uh, and you can feel the fire and the intensity this whole game. And the scoreboard shows it too, 28-25. Team Blue leads it with a minute 50 to go. Shot is up. No good. Dwayne gets the board to Lindblad. You know he won that basketball. He is storming down the court all the way to the hoop. Slams it home. Matt Lindblad for two. 135 to go. It was like yesteryear, I guess you'd say. Ninety seconds left. One point game here in this alumni. Oh, loose ball on the floor. Nice pick up there. Nice steal by Joaquin Strip. Now it's to Lindblad after Dwayne picks him up off the floor. Down by just one. He's going to the rim for two. Slam dunk with one. 55 seconds left. 29-28. But 55 seconds to go. This is literally the first alumni game with Lindblad, and it feels like yesterday. And and now there's a timeout on the floor.
So once it passes half court, he puts the two five. Same as having 45 seconds of shooting. Something like that, yeah, yeah. And I used to do my kids in basketball. It was always the last one, two minutes, stop it. And say he does that too. Yeah, he's telling. He's telling a lot. Of things. All right, Nestor with a possible game winner gets it off to Eric Ryan. Forty seconds to go here in this one. You're home. So Team White is home, by the way, on the boards. They're up by one with 25 seconds to go. And that ball is knocked out of bounds. 13 seconds out on Team White. This could be an exciting 13.3 seconds here. We will have to see. Nestor has it. Defended heavily. Oh, loose ball. Picked up. It's going to roll out. Five seconds to go. Five seconds left. <clears throat> One last effort here. Ball is taken. To Paul. For two. Oh, it's so good. Woo! One of the most thrilling alumni games in sportsmanship tournament history. <laughs> that was exciting. By the way, let's give it up for the alumni that are here today playing in front of their home court. Get off the court. <laughs> My varsity wants to play. 
great angle on it too. Like that was a great shot he had. Uh, I took my phone out to take a picture of that last shot, and I didn't press record because uh, I was taking the one in a videotape. It was the last five seconds. Yeah. That yeah, was unbelievable. Uh, the answer. And now on the line we. Have... The day of night, so... backboard and yeah. Woo. And now on the line, we have Doug Schoen. He's a political analyst, author, and commentator. Welcome back to Cats at Night. Bernie Sanders, or even AOC, who I guess is now under investigation by that. But... All right, guys, two segments down here for one hour. That was so competitive, like, um... Yeah. They were down, actually, uh, They were down by nine. They
good. You guys can jump in there if you want. Yeah. Yeah. There's only seven of them.
on the court? Yeah, can you walk and talk to me that or something? Uh, I could. Really? I don't know about walk and talk. Who are you calling? Good afternoon. How are we doing? Welcome to the annual sportsmanship tournament. This is the varsity game. Welcome. I want to thank you. We've had a great day so far. Uh, the Cubbies, the JV, we had the alumni new league, the alumni team this year, and we had some cheers from our newly created cheerleading squad. Awesome stuff. Uh, as you can see in the cafeteria, we have plenty of things to sell. Sweatshirts, sweatpants, donuts, spend all your money. Um, this year, looks a little bit different. This is our first year coming out of the pandemic. Uh, we haven't been together like this in a couple of years. Um, we got permission to go ahead to do something. So we wanted to do something that was a little bit different. We created what I call a community day. And all of the area organizations that have ever helped us at the start, um, came and played our students. Going forward from the pandemic, any of the teams that we honestly used to play no longer exist. Um, so we are actively looking for uh, disabled sports teams to come and play our kids. Right now, we do not do that, I uh, do not have any. So instead of not having the tournament, I felt it was important that we did have the tournament, and we would highlight some of the organizations that have helped us as a basketball program uh, in the recent past. Again, the basketball program is 30 years old. It doesn't just happen uh, overnight. You know, there's a lot of things behind the scenes that needs to happen. And a lot of these organizations that we had, whether it's uh, Citizens United to Remove Barriers or uh, the Lewis and Mark Rotary Club, they're all very intimate in helping us do what we want to do and coach your kids in wheelchair basketball. That being said, not only do we need the players, we need the coaches, we need equipment. Equipment, as a lot of you know, is very expensive. Equipment for a wheelchair basketball program can be even more expensive. It's hard enough to get your insurance company to get your child a wheelchair. Getting a manual sports chair from insurance is impossible. So we rely on organizations for donations. And I have a friend of mine, Rio, and her brother, Rio and her brother Adam are local high school kids. They, they go to Wheatley High School. And they created an organization um, called Mites. It's in the Greek world, the Greek religion, for lack of a better word. 
uh, they created this organization and they raised money. And their father, Stephen Little, is our lobbyist. He is our Albany lobbyist. So he is responsible for helping us get to the senators and the assembly people and those of those people that make decisions on how we can run our school. Um, so I thought it was really cool that last year, these two high school kids raised enough money uh, and gave it to us, right? Um, and we were able to buy two wheelchairs, two brand new wheelchairs um, with that money. These chairs are used by our players on a daily basis, whether they're Cubbies or JV or Varsity. Uh, they're used all day today. Um, so I just wanted to bring the home brother, Adam, is actually a college student right now. Notre Dame, Notre, Notre Dame. right? So Rio brought some friends of hers from Wheatley High School, and I'm going to put them against the Varsity. All right. So again, I just want to bring her up, congratulate her, thank her for the hard work and dedication so cool. um, to raise her money and give it to the basketball program so we can buy new equipment. Awesome job. Thank you. Woo! All right. Let's play some basketball. All right, guys, are you ready for varsity basketball or what? Come on now. Can you hand me, uh, can you hand me that board by chance so I can see exactly what's on the floor? All right, let's hear it for your starting five. We got Lance, Kyle, Antonio, Ariella, and Jay Ray. That looks like a K, not a R. Uh, uh. I'm like, who's JK? I don't know what JK is. Got you. Lance is a senior now, right? Lance is a senior now, right? All right, and let's hear it for the seniors on the floor, Kyle and Ariella, <laughs> playing their first sportsmanship tournament in a few years. And uh, again, if you're just joining us online, thanks for being here with us, uh, and thanks for joining in. This is the first, yes, the first sportsmanship tournament since 2019. It takes a lot of behind the scenes teamwork practices to get this off the ground and running, and here we are. Once again, so thanks for being here at the Biscardi Center, and thanks for tuning in. Yeah, put them as this. Is this Wheatley or what? What high school? Jesus. I thought he said Wheatley High School. What up, Drake? All right, Kyle. 
Ariella for two. And Jerry said Wheatley High School, right? Yeah, I was a three. <laughs> and you said Wheatley High School, right? Or and again, let's get up for the kids at, from Wheatley High School, these high school students, dedicating their Saturday to be part of this great effort here. Uh, thanks again, Wheatley, and, and uh, love having you here today. All right, I got, uh, he just played the alumni game. I got Joaquin here. Joaquin, tell people when you graduated, firstly. I graduated a long time ago, 2006. All right, but I know you've done a lot. I mean, a lot since you graduated. You're an author now. Tell us about that. I am an author. I've uh, published uh, four books of poetry so far. And I have copies on me today if anybody wants any. Uh, can we find that in the back of the gym, or where can we find that? Yeah, um, yeah, in the back of the gym. And I know that we can find you on Instagram with your poetry as well. Yes, I'm on Instagram at J-A-E-C-E-E, -E -E, the poet, J-C, the poet. I think it's important to tell the stories of alumni. So what did Viscardi do for you, and why do you come back to support? Um, I love Viscardi, man. I had a great time here. I, I, I was here from uh, first grade up into 12th. I met a lot of great friends, friends who I'm still close with today, and I come back to watch the kids do what they do, and uh, I come back because I love it here. All right, I was telling you it felt like recess earlier today with everybody here, right? So what's that like being back on the court with your teammates every time? I feel like I'm 17 again, even though my body might feel like 36 tomorrow. And you compete as hard as you did like those years as well, right? I think I do. I think I do for sure. I think so too. Well, Joaquin, congrats and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. All right. That was Joaquin Capehart. And uh, hopefully we got some more alumni here on the horn as we're just underway in the varsity game. First quarter. Love that we have a cheer squad. I'm waiting for the Cubby, the Cougar mascot. I don't know where he is. He's, uh, I hope he's not in a hibernation yet. That's all I'm going to say. Joaquin, let's get a picture of you. Miss you, man. It's been a while. Yeah, I miss you too, bro. 5.33 to go here. 3 to 2. Wheatley. Now this stat is pertinent for the Viscardi seniors and varsity team. I don't know if you caught the stat earlier on the stream at Viscardi Center on YouTube, or if you've been here all day and you hear me talk about these different stats, but it's very exciting to say that the Viscardi school has graduated Henry Viscardi seniors with 100% attending college or community programs. So there is a future after the Viscardi School, and the Viscardi School makes it possible for these kids. Come on now. <laughs> and we do hope when they come back, uh, when they graduate, they do come back as alumni and be part of this game that we saw a thriller just a few minutes ago earlier today. See, there are stats in here that I feel are so intense. Very sensitive stats, you know, so many insects. Well, I think it's important that they partner with 17 school districts. I might be able to work around that. And so on this, uh, 
As well, the Viscardi School has partnered with 17 Long Island school districts to provide services to disabled adolescents. So not just make an impact here, the Viscardi kids, the ambassador program, are partnering with districts to show, you know, kids that like it, Wigley High School, hey, you know, we can all do this together. And I like to say something uh, a lot these days that disability is not an ability, meaning, you know, you might have a disability, but it's not stopping you. And that's not stopping these kids today. It's not stopping the parents that brought the kids out today. And I think that's a huge plus in my book and at the Sports Center Tournament. For years, but it's just that I don't usually opine. I, I don't know. It's just funny to me. But it's fun to have all these stats just talk about. It. <laughs> what an into by Lance, and he's got room. He's got space. He's got to the rim for two. No, gets his own board though for two again. Got it. The 11th grader makes the two. 6-3, varsity against Wheatley High School. I'm going to say it. From Wheatley High School to the Kurt Team Curb, to also the Williston Notary, uh, Rotary Club, as well as our Assemblywoman Saletti and North Hempstead Town Supervisor Jen Decina. The community's making an effort to be part of this community, and I love that connecting. I, I love it. I love seeing people come together like this. And so for all those that have come in and wanted to partner with the Viscardi Center, thank you so much. That means a lot to make this happen today. So thank you uh, for all the organizations here today being part of our sportsmanship tournament. A minute to go here in the first quarter. A minute to go. Viscardi up by one. Ethan for two. job. Lance with a loose ball pickup. 19 seconds to go. Nice passing also for two. Teamwork. Making the dream work on that one. 10 to 5 with five seconds remaining.
All right, at the end of one, it's 10 to 5 varsity basketball. Huh? Oh. All right, guys, uh, let me turn my mic off. Varsity will get the ball to start the second quarter. Let's hear it for Varsity! So with the basket there. Oh, nice takeaway. That nah, was great. By Kyle. That was good. You. Thank you. Is there another game up?
By the way, if, if you're looking for a great holiday gift, I would say one of these sweatshirts, one of these sweaters to make you, your family member feel part of the Viscardi community right alongside with you is a great gift to have. And we have them on sale right behind uh, the bleachers as well as some gear from the new cheerleading squad. How great was the cheerleaders, by the way? Give it up for them. It's their first time uh, out here at the Sportsman Tournament. Uh, and, and it's actually the first time they've been making an appearance here as of 19. That did not exist, so something new here at this tournament. Fourteen five varsity leads it. On the floor, get up for Veronica, Kyle, Alexa, Michael, and Jay Ray. They're all on the court right now. Oh, Jay Ray with some great defense, by the way. Picked up by his teammate Kyle, and here they come the other way. Varsity Cougars. He's got some room. He's got a lane. Oh, what a spin move. Over to Michael. And now Viscardi has to get back on defense with 6.25 to go here in the first half. That one is... <laughs> Coach Joe, do we count that or what? Joe, we count that? I gave it to them. We'll count it for two. 14 7. Alexa has it. Four varsity. Great teamwork. By the way, for two, if you look at the adaptive technologies on some of these power chairs, you see that they have made these devices where the ball can be carried. Even if, they, if they're not able to carry it by hand, they still have something at the end of their chair which holds it. And that's part of the beauty of this program. They make adaptations to everybody's chair to fit their needs so they can be part of this team. Ah, that's pretty darn cool, don't you? All right, 14-7 to go here for Varsity, 4.55 to go. If you're watching online right now at the Viscardi Center, I really implore you to Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We got some great videos up there. You can even watch last year's commencement ceremony, which was in person, by the way. I also should give a shout out to the principal of the school, Angelo Zegarelli, and uh, Chris Rosa, the president and CEO of the Viscardi Center. With four minutes to go here in the second quarter. Great teamwork, great passing here to Michael, who's looking for There we go, to the rim. For two! Yeah. 
All right, Pearl is in the game again for Varsity with 2.50 to go, 16 to 7. HVS Varsity Cougars lead it as we are nearing the end of the first half. Basketball with 2.10 to go here in the second quarter. As it looks like a slate of substitutions will be happening here. We'll see. All right, Kyle will inbound to Ariella, 1.45 to go. Let's hear for Ariella here as she makes her way up the court for Viscardi. Great lane for two. So if you're watching this online, you also should follow our Twitter, at Biscardi Center. That's at Biscardi Center. And our Instagram as well, same place. Facebook, you can find us at the Henry Biscardi School and at the Henry Biscardi Center. For two, 18-9 with 39 seconds to go. I would stick around for half time for that presentation. And now, Kyle Azit with 39 seconds to go. With a lot of energy coming down the court here. 30. And that one is out of play, 27 seconds left. Fifteen seconds to go. Eighteen nine. HPS varsity is up. Seven seconds. And here we go. Kyle has it. Three, two, one at the buzzer. Oh, at the rim. But a great first half for the varsity Cougars. Are up eighteen to nine. And again, thank you to Wheatley High School for being part of today's game. Give them a round of applause for their support of the Viscardi School and the Viscardi Center. I have the seniors up here. Hey, Nicole. 
This thing on? Okay. Um, if I could have everybody's attention real quick. Um, this year, we as a historic community, historic um, high, high school community, lost three members of um, the student body. Um, Marcus Monaco, Jackson Coessa, and Teddy Rand. We invited the families up uh, this year uh, just to do a dedication of their children. Um, this is Marcus's parents. Um, our heart felt sorrow. And, uh, he was a great kid. Uh, we loved him. Uh, thank you for uh, allowing us to be a part of his life. Um, he was, you know, a ray of sunshine. And uh, here we go, uh, Kelly Mist. Uh, we have we have some gifts. I hope that you guys will still be a part of our family. I always want to start here with you started. Jessica Wesson, he was a senior this year. He passed away earlier this year. Unfortunately, his parents, his family was not able to make it to the tournament. Um, so we will have a more formal dedication to his memory um, in the spring during the uh, basketball award ceremony. Jessica Watson. <laughs> Teddy Ram. Teddy Ram, stand right here, please. Come on up. Teddy also was a senior. Played a lot of basketball with us. with us uh, in his memory in a, a jersey in his name.
Thank you. All right, as we get ready for the third quarter, a reminder that we do have uh, merchandise still on sale behind the bleachers. Again, it is the holiday season, and if you have, uh, if you want your family to be part of the Viscari community, I think these sweaters are a great, great uh, way to show them. All right. We are about to get underway here in the third quarter. Let's do this. Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. I can barely do one thing. <laughs> Got it. All right. All right, shout out to Coach Chris getting a chair and playing here. How about that? And we are underway here in quarter number three. And a reminder that the Adelphi Phys Ed program has two of its students Actually, a few of its students in the chair right now playing. Give it up for Delphi University uh, for their partnership with the Viscardi Center as well. Joe, are we doing running clock here or what? Are we doing running clock still? Or? Yeah. Okay. Got you. Okay, who's this? 
All right, Ethan has it now. Four of his Scardi. Looking for some room. Great pick by Jay Ray. Might actually get a pass and the pass to him. He does. Oh, great pass again to Kyle now. Kyle heavily defended. Hands in his face. <laughs> And, oh, it's taken away, and it is a Adel Delphi basketball. I might as well say that. All right. Lance picking up the loose ball here for Viscardi with 13.45 to go here in the third quarter. Shots up, rims in and out. Oh, in the paint. I guess so. Right? All right, Lance, give it to Ethan. Here we go. 12.45 remaining here in the third quarter. To the paint for two. Put on the board. All right, 29, 12, 25 to go. For home, right? Yeah, yeah. For two. No good. Gets home board. Almost. Uh, Globetrotter style over the shoulder, and nice play. Pick up there by Kyle. For varsity, we're 12 minutes left in the third. For two, it's good! Chris has it now. For two, oh, make the basket. That's a three pointer there. That's a great shot. 22 13 with 11 15 to go here in the third. Oh, Ethan has it for varsity. For two. Run by Coach Chris Arno. Great defense by Ethan over Lance. And air ball. Nine fifty to go here. Miss Varsity has a twenty-four thirteen lead. Hey, you're listening on the stream and watching on the stream, I should say. Thanks so much, and uh, glad to have you with us all day long here at the annual HBS Sportsmanship Tournament. We've had quite a day from the Cubbies to JV to alumni, and now we're wrapping things up with Varsity. Nine and a half minutes to go here in this third quarter.
Lance has it. Gets a little pressure. Backs out for two, off the rim, and... It is what I don't find if it's in basketball, I guess, with 8.50 to go. I, wanna, I wanted to mention this also about the Viscardi Center as we go along here today. Uh, if, you, if you are nervous about what happens after Viscardi for your seniors or high school students, don't worry because the Viscardi Center and the Henry Viscardi School have helped 150 students um, with disabilities gain skills to transition into adulthood. And so this place uh, will continue to make sure your kid is all right after Viscardi. And I think that's important to know because I know we have a couple seniors here, a few seniors here today as well. And I think that the Viscardi School will make sure your kid's future is well taken care of. And again, the fact that the seniors uh, graduate with 100% attending college or community programs is a huge stat that I think is worth pointing out once again here in the third quarter. 24-13, Viscardi leads it. should be open over there. Because no? I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I went right into this. But. Last call on a pill. I can get it for you in a minute. I do. I have a lot of cash on me, actually. Okay, Bubba. Six minutes left in the, in, the in the third quarter, so they're doing another quarter. Well, they were doing 10 twice in the 15. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, what are their names again? I'm forgetting. The one in the hoodie. And they did the game with me for like half the game. I don't remember their names. So. The that. I don't know. Okay. Once again, last call on merchandise and um, and and big goods. Everything back there behind the bleachers. Last call. So I would highly recommend you still get your gear while you can here at the Viscardi Sports and Tournament. I gotta say, this sweater I got earlier today is nice and comfortable. So. Twenty-four seventeen with five fifty-five to go. All right, Ariella has it here for the Viscardi varsity team with five thirty-five to go. Okay. And breaking news, if you if you need that uh, you know, that to have that sweet itch, uh, we got the baked goods for half off right now. So if you go to the back of the bleachers, the baked goods sale is on and you get baked goods for uh, you know, all the pastries and whatnot. Beautiful donuts back there also for half off. So I highly recommend checking that out as well. Oh, in the pink for two. No good. Gets on board. Oh, what a pass. For two. <laughs> All right, come on now. Let's hear it for Ariella. She's got the basketball right now. Here, 
here's another interesting stat for you. In 2022, as Kyle has the basketball, gets to Ariella, Ariella, And a reminder, last call for everything behind the bleachers. Last minute deals right now. Get them behind the bleachers. Get your, as Joe Solonica would say, swag at the, at the merch table with the Scardi sweaters and whatnot. The cheer squad also has some fresh gear as well, so check it all out. Joe, do you want me to mention the donation Dunkin' Donuts made, there's a huge check saver. Did you talk about that? No, that was a Muscardi sent I just... Okay. I know, but... Okay. I'll tell you this stat, though, for the Viscardi School. Do you know... They improved high school attendance for nearly 80 Long Island students through hands-on learning at local colleges and businesses. So there's a huge partnership going on to make sure our high school students are getting the education they need. And I, that's pretty damn cool for 2022, a year which saw really the comeback as there's two. Was that Antonio, right? Who's that, Antonio? No, what, who's that there? Who made that By the way, that too goes to Antonio! And two minutes left in the third quarter. I'm not stopping the clock. All right, guys, give it up for Antonio right now. Let's go. Here we go. Just scored a basket. Going back down there to try and get another one. With Viscardi up 26-19, a minute 10 to go here in the third. Fifty-two seconds to go in the third quarter here. Oh, great defense there. All alone, Alba. For two, there you go. Fifteen seconds to go. It's a four-point game. Ten, nine. Ariella has it for the third quarter. She's going to plant it home for two. And that's the end of quarter number three. I don't. Ray Sean, and who's who's your who's your, the other guy? What's your friend? Chuck. Chuck? Uh, sweatshirt is Chuck. Refer to Ray Sean Chuck. You guys are gonna be on the second half also, right? Yeah. Okay.
Yes, I need help. Yeah, I think we're going back to the team. It took me a very long time to get this. Because I'm always never going to like reset the whole board or something like that. Are we doing 15? No. No. Oh, enter game. 15? Yeah, we're going back to 15. Uh, okay. Hit, go back. Good. Sorry. Hello. Yeah. Good. Yeah, we're going. Thank you. We're back here for the fourth quarter. By the way, I'm loving the slideshow. Whoever put this together slideshow, Joe and the whole team, the slideshow is great. I mean, you look at all these pictures from not just now, but over the years. It's kind of a trip down memory lane. So I, I would say take a look at that before you head out today on our screens. And there's two for J Varsity. By the way, give it up for Rayshawn and Chuck and their teammates here from Adelphi playing along today here in the, fourth, the second half of this one. Coach Chris Alba. For two. All right, here comes Ethan. Get up for Ethan once again as he's got the basketball now. Up by six. And count the basket for two for Varsity. 32-24, 13-20 to go. Oh. <laughs> Air ball with 12.50 to go. All right, here we go. Viscardi has up by 8, 32, 24, 12 and a half minutes to go at the final game of the HBS Sportsmanship Tournament. Four, 12 minutes to go. this for a second. I got a couple minutes. All right. I don't think I've ever talked to Joe Salonica at the tournament itself because you're always busy running around, but you've got, you know, things are pretty well handled here. So 30 years of this basketball program, talk about its evolution, you know, from 30 years ago. And are you proud of where this is today? Uh, when we first started basketball 30 years ago, we had one team for the high school, which was grade 7 through 12. They had like 50 kids on that team, which was phenomenal. But 50 kids on a team for a basketball squad is near impossible to get everybody on there. Uh, so it was a blessing that we were able to create a JV squad, 
and a elementary cubby squad so we can split it up and have more evenly matched players play on the same team. Uh, and because of its popularity, um, we were able to create an alumni team. So today's, you know, to date we have four teams, 65 players. We have 175 kids in the entire school. Maybe one day the games will have the uh, alumni program. Who knows? That'd be kind of interesting if the games did that. But we'll see. The games for 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 the yeah, those kids. You know that event is for kids under 21 years old because of our specialty of wheelchair basketball. Uh, they do allow us to play in a wheelchair basketball tournament during the games uh, because this game does not exist in too many places other than here at Viscardi. All right, well, this has been the three years, you know, we missed this for three years. And, and you got the community out today. Tell us about that, the community showing up for the school. It's great that the community, you know, after, after a few years of COVID break, it's great that the community came back with open arms and, and embraced us. And, you know, the, the community support and the love that they, they give us is phenomenal. We can't do any of this without them. And then for you, I know you're always out and about representing Viscardi. What's it mean to represent the Viscardi School brand? What's it mean to represent the Viscardi School brand? Because you're all over the place repping Viscardi. The, the Viscardi brand is very important to me. Um, the Henry Viscardi School is very important to me. It gives uh, kids with disabilities an even chance um, at a successful uh, life uh, and to be a viable part of society. And one last thing, because some of these kids may go on to play college ball now that it's CUNY Adaptive. To see that program and Destiny, who was one of your former players, take that program off in CUNY, what does that mean to you? To be able to grow this sport, again, this game does not exist anywhere else but this building. But we do have, you know, opportunities and conversations with uh, the local CUNY schools to help develop this program for them. Because um, especially uh, people in power wheelchairs, um, there's not much athletically for them to do. Um, so we can develop this more on an adult level. There'll be a lot more people playing and they can play you know, forever. And I love that. Well, Joe, congrats on 30 years. That's pretty amazing. And thanks for all you've done for my class and classes before and after. I want to say thanks for doing everything for our class of 09 and classes before and after. Thank you. Uh, it, it, it's, I love the game of wheelchair basketball. I play it myself uh, to be able to share my love of the sport with the students of Viscardi. means the world to me. Um, I love what you're doing, Alex, in your world, in your life. Um, it, it's great to see uh, our alumni succeed the way they are. Well, thank you again, and you made all of this possible, so thank you, good sir. Thank you. And enjoy the rest of this tournament, huh? All right, we also got stitched by Mary O, still out in the, uh, in the back of the cafeteria with their crocheted uh, hat. hats, water bottle holders, and so much more. It's very creative back there. I would definitely take a look um, before they close up shop. So stitched by Mary O, check it out. 6.30 to go here in the fourth quarter, by the way. All right, give it up for Winter. She's got the basketball right now for the Varsity Cougars. Six minutes to go. There we go. For two. 
And Viscardi's varsity team is on the run a little bit here, on a bit of a run here. I want to reiterate this one other stat, by the way. You see our staff working tirelessly and hard today for all our students. Do you know they've done that for 11,000 hours of skilled nursing, physical, occupational, speech, and auditory therapy to all uh, Viscardi students? 11,000 hours of care and love and dedication. Give our therapists from all departments a round of applause for their care and effort all year long here at the Viscardi School. All right, Antonio has it once again. By the way, Joe mentioned the adaptive uh, the wheelchair basketball alumni team. If, uh, if you're interested in joining the uh, wheelchair basketball alumni team, we start everything up again in March of 2023. That's what Kate Weglikowski told me earlier today. You can find out more by emailing her at kweglikowski at viscardicenter.org. That's kweglikowski at viscardicenter.org. Oh, <laughs> so Joe, there's another game on? After this game is a fun game, a family fun game. Oh, okay. um, Are you streaming that online? Are you streaming yeah, the whole thing is on <laughs> And there's more basketball to come here on the live stream if you're tuned in here. And uh, it's going to be a fun one. Joe Salonic will have some details here after the game. But right now, we got the Scardi's varsity team, 42-31, leading it. With two and a half minutes to go. Kira, Veronica, for two, Veronica for two. <laughs> One minute to go here, Varsity up 44-31. Varsity defense playing 
tough all the way up to the whistle here. Got to love it. Oh. Little Emily. For two. Forty-four thirty-three. <laughs> All right, ten seconds out now. Forty-four thirty-three. Winter has it. Three, two, one. All right, I throw it back to Joe Salonica. But make that basket count. 46 33. Varsity right. wins. All right, Varsity. Great job. Thank you for helping me. Oh my God, yeah, no problem. All right, any alumni that's still here, you want to play, we got one more time slot. Alumni. All right, Varsity, shake hands. We're going to take a picture by the, underneath the scoreboard. Everybody by the scoreboard. Alumni, if you are in the building, you want to play, we got time for one more game.
Five or ten? <laughs> well, if that's the case, we just wind it down to one. Carry one. Are we Christina! We're Christina! Doing, are we doing ten? Ten? Ten or what? You want to do five? Ten, right? Okay. Okay, all you, all you gotta do now is press this down to count it down. Yeah, that's when they when they yes. No 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 when they start. When they start. Oh. Doctor. Maybe you want to make that enough? No, yeah. What? Like my dad. I saw mom there. I know, but I'm not And my dad doing the same with his buying stuff. Well, I'm just saying you're going to make that expression and I'm just starting. Yeah. The thing is, he still has the music. Not... The music has me off. Hello? Oh, 
All right. All right, for those alumni that are not playing but want to check it out, for everybody in the cafeteria that want to check out this mix and match, if you will, of our teams, we got alumni teaming up with the varsity JV squad, so it'll be fun here. So anybody in the cafeteria that wants to watch this, come on down. We're about to start. And if you stepped away for a cup of coffee on the stream, come on back. We're back here. Also, give a big shout out to our AV team, Joe and Tom, for making sure everything was on the air today, making sure everything sounded good in our uh, gym today. And uh, a whole collaborative effort this morning and tonight. And now Joe Reps is going to be fun. Trying to find a lane here. It's like they read a scouting report on him or something. They got him covered, but for two. All right, let's give it up for Kyle. He's got the basketball right now. Going up against the big guys, if you will. We'll see what happens. Paul has it. Over to Enrique. No good. Dwayne scoops up the rebound. All right, it's Team Blue. Oh, Petro. Oh, good try, Petro. Count it. No, no count. No good. And it is. Team White with the basket. <laughs> Matt again, the end round for two. off to Paul. Good passing. Yes. Oh, Joaquin. Get it, Joaquin. Fighting for it. Loose on the floor. Joaquin picks it up and it's team white basketball with 6.50 to go. Yeah, for like, okay. for like one year. 
bringing all the generations together. That's true. You know, you know we had Joe Salonica on at, during the varsity game, and he just reminded me, this is the genesis of Viscardi wheelchair basketball. All the generations on one floor. This is something special. We've got the different generations from 97 to the uh, 2000s and, and then the 2010s, now 2020s. Everybody's on one floor represented on this floor. And as Joe mentioned earlier in the press conference after the game, all these guys made those banners on the wall happen year in and year out. And they are the foundation of why this team continues at every level. And so to watch them all on one floor is pretty, uh, it gives you a little goosebumps if you're a Viscardi lifer here today or watching on the stream actually. Oh, what a pass to Paul for two. Running clock or stop the clock? <laughs> stop it? Okay. I don't know either. All right, let's give it for Jessica Tambor. Jessica Tambor on the floor with the basketball right now. Adriano with the basketball. For two, it's good. the basketball right Go now. Mikey! Go Mikey! And he's got a clear lane here. 14 blue. Oh, oh. Ball is loose. Turnover. I know. For two! Go, Mikey! Mikey with the deuce there. Go, Anthony! Oh, here comes Lauren with the, ba with the basketball.
Looking for a teammate. All right, come on, this is Jay Ray with it now. He's, he's very excited to get to the hoop here, is Jay Ray. For two, and we're tied up at six. Team blue, team white. I like this mix and match idea. We should keep this as a feature every year. This is pretty cool. <laughs> no, I do. I really do. What? A little bit. All right, give up for Adriana. She's got the basketball right now. Hands in their face. Oh. Loose ball. 20 seconds left. Got to make a last minute effort here. Tied at six. Here we go. Jay Ray's got a lane. Eight seconds to go. Great, great teamwork, Perla for two. Count it. And Team Blue goes up eight to six after one. And then Kyrian. And give it up for Damani, who's on the floor now for Team White. As Lindblad has it. Great passing from generation to generation. Basket is good. That was a great assist for two from Damani. Enrique has it now. Nice pass. Oh, and a steal by Damani. And look at the little push, that's great. All the way to the hoop. What's he gonna do? And the rebound picked up for two. Teamwork. Nice scoop up the floor by Matt Lindblad for two. And Team Y is up 10 to eight. Yes, because if you don't do enough around here. Go, Kyle! All right, Kyle has it now, 14 blue. Joaquin. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Jessica, are you coming in anytime soon? Do you want to do a quick interview with me? All right. Class of Oh. All right, I'm here with Jessica Tambor. Give it up for Jessica, class of 04. And I know coming back here means a lot to you. Talk about what it means to play in these games today. She's a little speechless, I guess. But I know that she's been very active in the alumni community uh, over the years. And, uh, it's a lot of fun to play and be here. And you also have involvement with the games also, so you're very, very involved. So always appreciate you coming back. Thank you. It's fun to be here. There you go. That was Jessica Tambor as we are in the second quarter here, 10 to 8. It's okay. I've been grabbing people all day. Like, it's just like, boom. I don't remember. I don't remember Enrico. Enrico. Yeah, right. Oh! Loose ball on the floor. Oh, Lindblad scoops it up. And here comes Team White. Up by two. Six and a half to go. Joaquin. Oh, Damani with the board. Back to Joaquin. Matt Limblad with it now, 6.06 to go. Team open! Team open! Oh! Loose ball. Inbound for two. Oh, rims it out. Damani with the rebound for Team White. That shot is good. That's good. Twelve to eight. <laughs> I know what it is, guys, but I'm feeling that camaraderie I felt many moons ago here as alumni. It's, it's great. It, that feeling is is special today. Enrique has it. Uh, blue is home. Wait, who? Maybe, because she said she grew up around here. Good deep, good deep, Maddie. Matt's going for the basketball here. Kyle and Enrique. Deep, put your hand up. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, stop him at subs. Oh yeah, you got it. Diagonal or Okay, I'm just gonna how to do this boat. Oh yeah, can you take a picture I'm sure I got some over here. Oh. I tried to in the earlier game. Okay, so you win? Yeah, 
be in vertical or horizontal? Huh? I guess I could shoot it like this. Above the... I right, start the clock. Oh. It's okay. And who's this kid? All right, Team White has the basketball. Lauren is fighting for the basketball. <laughs> All right. Turnover on the floor is Team Blue with the basketball. She goes back on the <laughs> All right. Is that Alexa Christ Christina? Veronica? I'm confused. Two minutes to go in this half. Team White up 12 to 8. And for those on the stream with us, thanks for joining us all day long. Jay Ray has it now. For two, let's go! Here we go, Jessica Tambor has it for Team One. One fifteen to go. Great passing the Lauren there, 56 seconds to go. Second left. And it's 12 12 at the end of a half here. Oh, earlier, but I'm oh, talking about things. Oh, okay. And I have 
For Petros, he's on the floor right now with the basketball. Right? Yes. <laughs> All right, Kyle has it for Team Blue. Beautiful spin move there to get away from Damani, but he's met with Limblad and Dwayne in traffic, and ball remains with Team Blue. In period number three. <laughs> nice play by Damani on the bounce. Now Limbaugh with a little push there for him. That's great. Love it. Here we go. What's kind of interesting is these... All these generations have never played with each other like this before, and so to see them gelling is very interesting. No basket there. Game still tied at 12 with 8.05 to go. I've never felt this banter like this. This is good. Plus, I'm so busy. Oh, I'm sure. You're, control. You're trying to keep all these people in control. Go, Keith! All right, here is Keith. Graduate from 1997. That's it. Man, I seem to remember that year too, 96, 97. Good. Good And then 97, 98. Nice pass. We're still tied at 12. 6.15 to go here. on the floor. Nice
Tom. Oh, maybe. Hey, <laughs> Kate, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Uh, I guess. Oh. I'm like, Joe's tired of me. <laughs> you realize this haven't talked about casino night? Okay. Tom, I didn't know. Bye. Bye, Jess. Bye. Okay, home Bye. 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 Yeah, because Paul's against Matt. Thank you for working on this. Oh, no problem. She needs me. All right, there we go. Paul is all alone for two. No good. Matt gets that rebound off the floor, and here comes Team White. Down by just two now. Dwayne. Rebound. Possession stays with Team White. A reminder that on Thank you. Sounds good now. Thanks. You're doing a great job. Thank you very much. Who's phone is <laughs> Oh boy. On there we go. On Thursday, February 9th, 2023, come all in for Viscardi at the Viscardi. Something else I should make that. 
Here we go. 
all the way to Two. Two white. Down by just two now. Again, if you've been watching online or in person today, thank you so much for joining us here at the Vistari Center. Hope you've had a great day today, guys. Let me hear it.